Welcome to our YouTube channel. By the end of this video, you will be able to add light and dark theme into your own app and also be able to adapt the theme according to the system theme. As here, when we disable the dark mode on our simulator, then the app automatically adapts to light theme. So let's get started after this short intro. We are going to start with a default flutter app. Here the only thing added is the acid folder with a light and dark image. And if you want to use the same acid, then make sure to download the starter project from the link in the description. Now under our material app, let's remove this default theme data. And then in theme property, we are going to provide a theme data of light. And similarly for dark theme, give it a theme data of dark. These are the default light and dark theme for our Flutter app. If you want to customize this theme data according to your need, then simply call the copy with method and overwrite the default values. Then we will use a theme mode property, which is an enum with values like dark, light and system. In system, the theme will change according to the system theming as we have seen in the intro video. And if you pass the theme mode to dark and save it, then we can see the app theme changes to dark. And the theme which is applied is this dark theme. And by default for the light mode, it will apply this theme. And for now, let's change the theme mode to light and save it. Now, this is the UI we are going to build. To achieve it, we are going to use a stack widget, which will hold this image in the background. And on top of it, we will add this drop down list. And as said, we have already added the image in our asset folder and also we have mentioned it in our asset section in pubspec.yml file. If you have not, then this is a good time to do so. So let's start building the UI. Firstly, we'll create a new file named homescreen.art and in it create a stateless widget and name it home screen. Then in main.dart file, update the home property to our home screen. And then let's remove this my homepage widget as we are not making any use of it. Now let's go back to our home screen dot file and there change this column to a stack widget and remove this cross axis alignment. Now inside stack we are going to add this image as a background. So let's add the image by calling image dot acid and giving it the path which is acid slash image slash light dot png and in order for the image to cover the whole screen we will give it a height of double dot infinity and also pass it a fit property of box fit dot cover and now save all the changes and hot restart the application and after the hot restart as you can see we have this beautiful image as our background and now let's add the drop down button which will be of type string as its value will be of type string. Then in items we will have a list which will mainly contain of three items named light, dark and system. To add them we have to use drop down menu item which will also be of type string and for child we will use a text widget with a value of light. For styling we will give a style property and pass a value of theme dot of context dot text theme dot headline six and then save the file to format it then we will add a value of light and make sure to spell it correctly and in lower case now let's copy this drop down menu item and paste it two more times and change the value to dark also the one inside the text widget and lastly change the last one to system now as for a on change which as we can see is a function which take a nullable string argument let's say value and for now let's leave it on to an empty function and let's also add a default value to our drop down button which will be system and now we can see the button but it is barely visible to us so we will reposition it uh, approximately here so let's wrap it with an align widget and give it an alignment of top center and now it has been shifted behind this notch to move it down let's wrap the align widget uh, with a position 
dot fill and from top we will position it 80 pixels down now let's code our theme provider firstly we will add the provider dependency by running this command while that's happening let's create a new file and name it theme provider and also make sure to add dot dart at the end then create a class name theme provider and extend it with change notifier and in this we will create a new variable of type string and name it current theme which will be used to keep track of the app theme and give it a default value of system then we are going to create a getter of type theme mode and also name it theme mode now this getter will return a light dark or a system theme mode according to the current theme value so let's check if the current theme value is equal to light and if so then return theme mode dot light or else if the current theme value is equal to dark then return theme mode dot dark and lastly in the else block we will return the only remaining theme mode dot system let's also create a new method to change our theme uh, let's call it change theme which will have a parameter of type string let's call it theme and then in it we will assign the current theme to this theme value and then we will call notify listeners now let's open the main.dart file in it we will wrap my app with change notifier provider of type theme provider let's add some commas at the end so that flutter can format it then add the create property and return the instance of theme provider and down here wrap our material app with a consumer widget of type theme provider and the builder method requires three position arguments first is context second is the instance of provider and third is a child widget and down in a theme mode we are going to assign it to provider dot theme data which is the getter from the theme provider and now let's save it and it will give an error just hot restart the app and it will be gone now let's go back to our home screen and there wrap the drop down button with a consumer widget of type theme provider and in builder method we will pass the same argument which are context provider and child now for the value for the drop down button we will be using this current theme variable so that we can stay consistent with our theme throughout the app so change the value to provider dot current theme now for the on change method which by the way gets called whenever we change the drop down value so we are going to change our theme in it to do so we are going to call the change theme method from the provider which we have created in the theme provider which take a theme and assign it to the current theme variable so let's pass the value to the change theme function but as this value is nullable so let's add a null check operator and pass a default value of system in case if this value is null for some reason and now if you hot restart the app and check by changing it to light nothing much happens but when we change it to dark we can see the text color has changed to white but what we wanted is that when we change the theme to dark or light the background image should smoothly animate to its respective image so for that to happen we will add a check in our image widget there we will check the brightness property of theme dot of context and if it is equal to brightness dot light then we will show our light wallpaper or else we will show a dark wallpaper which is inside our asset slash image slash dark dot png now when we save we can see the wallpaper change but when we change it to light we can see the transition is not as smooth as we have seen in this video so for that to happen we have to wrap our image with animated switcher and give it a duration of 500 milliseconds now we will need to pass a key to our image widget so that the animated switcher can distinguish between the light and the dark image so for the key property we will pass a key class and give it a value of theme dot of context dot brightness dot to string 
And now when we hot restart our app and when we change the theme from light to dark, we see a smooth transition. But we have a problem here. When we hot restart the app, we see that the theme gets default back to the system. We can easily solve this problem by persisting the theme by using share preference. So first, let's add the share preference dependency by running this command. After that, open the theme provider dot file. Now we have to save the theme in share preference whenever it is changed. So in change theme method, we'll create a new instance of share preference like this. And let's import it. And as it is an async task and we are awaiting here, we need to add a async modifier here. And then we will write pref.setString and pass it a key of theme and then give it a value of theme which comes from here and as it is an async task so we will await it here. Now with this setup whenever we change the theme it will be saved in shape preference under the theme key. But still when we start the app we need to check this save theme and then update the current theme variable to it. Let's do that in an initialize method and make it an async. And firstly create a shape preference instance. Now get the save theme with getString method and pass it a key as theme. Now as it return a nullable string so we will add a null check operator and as always default it to system. And we will assign this to our current theme variable and then we will call notify listeners. Now the only thing remaining is to call this initialize method when the theme provider instance get created which was in main.dart file in our change notifier provider widget. Here we will call the initialize method using the cascade operator. Now we need to rebuild our app as we have added the shape preference dependency which uses some native functionality. Now once it is up and running then if we change the theme to dark and even if we hot restart the app we can see that the theme is persisted to dark. Thanks for watching this video until the end and if you find this video useful in any form then please do leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this.